Alright, my leopard gecko set up. It's a 30 gallon tank. Got two dome lights going right now to keep this side hot. Oh, temp's reading at 91.6 for the hot hide. I've got a second hot hide right there that one likes to go in. Mealworm dish with powder. A rock water dish. Homemade humidity hide. I know it looks kind of crappy, but they like it. Got these stairs, they usually poop in this corner, so they hide in there whenever they want. Got some peat moss in there. All the crickets like to escape and hide in there as well. I got this cardboard right here to kind of cover up during the day so it's not so bright. It's the main hide. There's the big end. He's about 60 grams, two years old. There's a super worm hidden there. He'll get it later. Uh, another cockroach in there somewhere as well. He might have escaped or got eaten. Kind of hard to see. I'm using a tile for a substrate. It's a nice little square tile right here. And it, it'll absorb heat and everything else. They kind of like it. It doesn't get too hot. Just over here in this area, it gets pretty warm, but they'll scamper off of it. Here's my other one in here. It's a little hot humidity hide. Oh, there she is. I've got a male and female together. Maybe they'll do something. Maybe they won't. I'll cover you back up. So the millworm dish. I got this temperature gauge right here to measure the ambient temperature, but uh, I don't think it works very well. And that's basically it. Like I said, it's a 30 gallon tank. Got the nice little tile substrate. No, no chance of them ingesting any parts of it. Got it free from work. I've got two red lights they're, they're used for the night and day uh, so it heats up this side of the tank that way it, I make sure they're warm enough and it's cool is about this little foam rock thing is they can get up there on top to sunbathe and they come back down if they get too hot or maybe go in their little hides whenever they want anyways uh, they only really come out at night because they're nocturnal but they're pretty cool